Hey, good afternoon. It's great to be back in the office. Even though being back in the office is always not great, it's great to be back in the office. The thing that came up in a conversation with a client today that I wanted to visit with you all about is the consequences of refusal for complying with field sobriety tests and more importantly breath and blood analysis on a roadside stop when there's a suspicion of driving under the influence of a substance, generally alcohol, it's most common. And that is one of those scenarios that most of the public is going to have an encounter with law enforcement. If they ever have one, it'll be through a driving offense and a large majority of those are unfortunately alcohol related and that seems to be going away more and more with the frequency and availability of Lyft and Uber and other services. And hopefully we're all driving automated cars soon and this just goes away. But right now the state of Texas has the right to if at any time a suspect refuses at the side of the road and a, a form uh, DIC, 21, uh, DIC 24 is uh, executed in a way that reflects that the suspect refused the test, your, your license is subject to an automatic revocation. And that can mean a situation where you're going to pay a lot of surcharges, you're, gonna, you're going to have a, a suspension for a while, you're going to need to get an occupational driver's license. So these are, these are consequences you're not aware of at the side of the road at that time if you're in that scenario. And unfortunately, they can have some long-standing impact financially for you in, in your ability to operate a motor vehicle. And the last thing you want to do is uh, be out on bond or be on probation and then get picked up for driving with an invalid license because then that's, you know, it just turns into a cycle of being unable to get off the paper, as we call it. Anyway, be cognizant of that, be cautious of that. If that comes up in your, in your case, you know, it's hard to make those decisions. If you're faced with those decisions, hopefully you're not. Hopefully you never will be. But if you're faced with those decisions on the side of the road, just be aware these are part of the consequences. And hopefully this will help everybody make better decisions. Have a wonderful day.